Hello, I'm John Burns. Thank you for watching Westminster Canterbury Richmond's construction update for March. We're starting out today out here on the ellipse where you can see that the roof is on the corridor and framing is underway to allow for the glass to be installed along this corridor in the coming weeks. As a reminder, this corridor is an extension of the promenade and will be how residents get to and from the new Vital Living Center. Inside the corridor are several resident amenity spaces, including restrooms, multi-purpose room and movie theater, a meditation space, and a spa. These will start to take shape once that exterior glass storefront is complete. Inside the Vital Living Center, work continues at a great pace. The construction teams are working fast to get this space dried in from the weather so that the drywall work can proceed. At the natatorium, which is a fancy word for pool building, the backfill around the pools is complete and the plan is for the concrete pour to take place in the next two to three weeks. This should be the final major concrete pour. Work for that pour will happen around 7 a.m. and it shouldn't be too impactful. We will communicate the details as the work gets closer. We're now on the I-95 side of the Vitality apartment building and work is really starting to take shape. On the exterior of the building, the brick installation is about 75% complete overall, and the eaves, or the stucco-like application, is ongoing. Here on the south side, closest to the garden apartment, the eaves installation is scheduled to be completed any day now. This is a major milestone because it allows the construction team to begin to take down the Fraco scaffolding system on the garden side of the building. That'll happen sometime by the end of the month. On the interior of the building, framing is nearly complete in the lower level, which will be offices and the connector corridors. The higher levels, two through seven, which are the resident apartments, are completely framed. And throughout the building, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing installation are wrapping up. Drywall is being installed in all the apartment floors with drywall completion targeted for mid-April. I'm standing in the corridor with the garden apartment behind me, and connector corridor to, to the bank and on to the lower level. First off, later in March, the construction team will be cutting in a stairwell that will provide the exit from the West Tower stairwell into this lower level where I'm standing right now by the old fitness center. This will be loud, but shouldn't, shouldn't take more than a couple hours. We'll send out notices to residents in advance of this work. At the same time, the stairwell window on level two of the tower will be closed in due to it being blocked by the roof line of the new building. The second thing I wanted to share is that the tower crane will be coming down and leaving campus on March 27th through the 29th. This will be a fun thing to watch if you're free. Of course, this work is weather dependent and we'll need to move if we have wind or rain that day. Now let's head over to the village to check on progress there. Final grading is being completed around buildings three and four with landscaping starting early this month and wrapping up by the end of the month. Inside buildings three and four, final interior work is underway, including flooring, casework, countertops installation, and final inspections. The construction team and our staff are developing the final list of to-dos before residents can start to move in. Buildings one and two are progressing very nicely with the interior work and roofing systems being finalized. Inside these buildings, interior framing and mechanical, electrical, and plumbing installations are progressing quickly. As we take over buildings three and four, the construction fencing around the project will move back to just surround buildings one and two. We expect this process to happen around April so we can make the new buildings ready for the new resident move-ins. By this point, you might be able to say this with me. Please respect the construction zone and stay out of the fenced off areas. This is for your safety as well as the safety of the construction team. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.